Hey guys, welcome back to Owl 3 um, I had a conversation with somebody yesterday and I wanted to talk a little bit about this. Um, excuse me. Please like, subscribe, and share. I got stuff to do today, I just wanted to get this out before I go. Um, please like, subscribe, and share the content if you like what I'm doing. Um, anyway, so I hear a lot of, um, you know, this old older guard is kind of going away in the field, um, or, or coming upon that precipice. So, but I, I you know, there's going to be, and some discussions, there's going to be this, um, <clears throat> this influx of, my suspicion would be, um, just more, uh, like different protocols, newer, improved protocols, stuff like that. Um, but, and that's fine. Um, like I said, there's a lot of different methodologies that work great to get this job done. Um, and I support anybody that's effectively using them. Um, but here's my big question for anybody that's claiming to have the best proven method, who's, who can improve on whatever's out there already. Um, if you want me to like take you seriously, if that's your claim, I need you to answer a question for me. What is better? What 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 is this better? Can you can this, what's it made of? What does it look like? What does it taste like? Um, how are you like what what is that? Because if you can't really tell me clearly what that is, it's going to be hard for me to take you seriously <clears throat> um, in that endeavor. Now. The only way I could describe this to you guys is ways that, you know, something I could relate it to, okay? But it's just something I want you to consider. Because, again, I don't care what people use, all right? But I just, for example's sake, all right? This is how I see all of this. This is my personal opinion, okay? A person is using this tool for a, a goal. Okay, and just for association's sake, let's call it a sword. Okay. There you go. So, and this is the pupil. Hmm. Which one do I use? Okay. Because you want to go off to war, and you need to tackle this target, which for association's sake, let's say, is another warrior, okay? But in order to use this tool, you got to practice, get familiar with it, get familiar with the weight, get familiar with the familiarity, the two steps back, the you know, the, the, just using it, right? So like here's CRV, the old tin can. <laughs> uh uh, what, what did Courtney call it? Model T that I use, right? Um, but I use it pretty effectively. I think people that even hate my guts would probably have a hard time saying otherwise. Um, you got, um, you know, HRVG. Maybe this one's like a, like a two-handed broadsword or something, you know? You got TRV. Um, a tool heavy, like a, you know, just like one of those, like, French swords or whatever, right? okay? Um, you got, um, whatever, freeform. It's a battle axe. <laughs> so, everybody's going, let's, let's look at it like this. We're all, we're all going to. Go at each other with these things, okay? Or you're going to go at a target with using one of these things. What's the most effective? Um, well, I would say that might have a lot to do with the person holding that item. Wouldn't you? Now... Whether you have tassels down here, or this thing folds down, or this comes in a nice case, 
Um, I still need to ask you, what is better? What does that mean? Okay, so you can melt down this blade. You could reshape it over and over and over and over again if you feel the need. Um, <clears throat> but it is my suspicion that once you use an effective method that you are drawn to for long enough, um, you're going to be as effective as anybody else because you have to be willing to do the work to get to that level. Okay. So if you are not working that diligently, you could have a pen made of gold blessed by Jesus himself. It's not going to, you know, blow everybody away because you're using that method. Okay. As far as overall data points or anything. Now, talked a little bit about this before you have heuristic tools of the methods some are like tool heavy like a trv like it's almost like they're all tools and, and it's like keeping you busy using them um and it's great it works great for a lot of people um so but and you know i talked to dad a little bit about this uh because he uses his own tools uh for stuff but and, and all these tools are effective. Here, uh, imagine you have a, a hammer or a mallet or a, a baseball bat in your hand. Hit the target. Is it reverberating? What does it feel like? Is it hard in your hand? You slap it. You get this, that, and the other. You know, these are all heuristic tools. Um, and, and they all work. They all work real good, um, real well, effectively for everybody, pretty much. Um, but what I've found personally is for the tools that I develop, you know, for me, um, work well for me. And I didn't just go out and say, I need to come up with a tool. If they, I, I was in a position where I felt I needed to, you know, come up with something to get this, okay, out of the target. And now I use them when I feel like I need to use them. So what I'm saying is those tools that I developed worked great for me. So... And like I told my student, after you learn everything that I could teach you, if you just do that, if you do this over and over and over and over, you, who you are, will spill out into that page eventually. It's just how it happens. You can't help it. You're going to be compelled to do something and, and you'll do it. Um, but in order for that to happen, you really got to master that blade, whatever it is. You want to master the heck out of that. Um and do it master it but if you're going to come to me and say hey i've got a better method or a better way or a better this you better be able to tell me what that is what is that because ideally in my mind is and i hope that that ingo deep down felt this too that once that once you have gotten so familiar. You've sat down at that desk so many times to do this. Your subconscious is so in tune. So when the day comes where that sword get knocks out of your hand, you don't have clay, you don't have a pen, you don't have paper, you don't have your laptop, but you need to do the job. Your subconscious still goes to work and still gets it done. That's what this is all about, guys, in my opinion. Um, that's what I've come to believe. Is, is, and I don't really the best much in belief. But, um, so, again, I'm a supporter of all, all, you know, established methodologies that are making these effective remote viewers. I really don't care how, you know, um, at this point. But if you tell me it's better than any other one it's going to be hard for me not to laugh at you okay um because i've never seen anybody effectively show me that you know i've seen great results from different schools but i've never seen i mean i, I to be honest with you it's be extremely hard to even match that up you have people that are drawn to this you have people who are drawn to that 
So and then to, and they're, they're very effective. When you look at the groups, they're, they're they're using all kinds of different stuff. So it's just the way it is. Okay, this is these are all selling tactics. I'm trying to sell you the best shit, but it's all bullshit. Um, it's gonna come down to you. You're wielding that blade. You can sharpen it. Get real familiar with it. Do the dance. You know the steps backwards and forwards. Um, you're so tuned into it. No matter how fancy it looks, you're deadly with it. That's what this is all about, guys. This is what it should be about. Okay. Um, and again, if you're driven to like change things up, or you know, that's cool too. And 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 my 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 sense would be, no matter what system that's there has this like baseline mold, okay, kind of, and then things are switched around within it, it's all going to be effective to, to one degree or another. So do it, by all means, change it around. But if you start going around marketing yourself, saying you're selling the best shit, I don't buy it. Because you haven't shown me anything. You haven't even shown me what this is. This right here is a paradox. <laughs> nobody's ever, nobody's been able to answer that question to me. Uh, boy. That's all my ranting for today. We'll catch you next time, guys.